Greetings everybody, Roy Showman. I don't know if you've heard of him. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about him. He's a man with a very interesting story. And his story, I'm going to sum it up here, it's a very brief summary of his story. If you want to see his story in more detail, there are plenty of videos online where he gives a talk about what happened to him. And one of those videos I'm going to link in my description because I'm going to be reviewing a little bit of it in this video that I'm making. But his story, very briefly, is that he was raised in an Orthodox Jewish family. As he got older and went to study and then got into work, became a Harvard professor, he lost his faith. And at some point he just felt empty. He was very successful professionally, but he felt very empty. And he was going for a walk uh, one day and suddenly he experienced God. He saw his whole life before his eyes, he experienced God, but he didn't know who God was how he was to refer to him, what religion he was to follow. And then one year later, exactly to the day he experienced the Virgin Mary and he spoke with the Virgin Mary. And that's what I want to play you. I want to play you the clip of him talking about his conversation with the Virgin Mary. And then I want to nitpick one little thing that I found very strange in that conversation. So here's the video. When she spoke, and when the beauty of her voice flowed through me, carrying with it her love, it lifted me up into a state of ecstasy greater than I ever imagined could exist. So most of my questions actually flowed out of my being absolutely overwhelmed by who she was and by her, her grandeur. Um, I'll mention a couple of the questions. They were actually often more exclamations then they were actually questions. For instance, at one point, I kind of stammered out, how can it be, how is it possible? How can it be that you're so glorious, that you're so magnificent, that you're so exalted? How can it be? And her response was just to look down at me almost with pity and shake her head gently and say, oh no, you don't understand. I'm nothing. I'm a creature. I'm a created thing. He's everything. Oh no, I am nothing, he is everything. That's the one thing that he said happened that I find strange. He is everything, no problem. God is everything. He made everything, he is everything. If it wasn't for him, none of us would be here. But the Virgin Mary saying, I am nothing. That's the part that I found odd. In the Magnificat, in the Bible, if you look at the second paragraph here, she does say, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. When she appears to St. Bernadette in Lourdes, she says, I am the Immaculate Conception. She's the mother of Jesus Christ. She's without sin. She's been specifically chosen by God. So for her to say, I am nothing, it doesn't sit well with me. If a person in the world, somebody you know, just an ordinary person like yourself, said, I'm nothing. You would say, don't say that. You're not nothing. You're created by God in his image. You have an eternal soul. You're not nothing. You would reprimand them. You know, if you were not created by God, you'd be nothing. But you have been, and you are definitely something. You're someone. So for the Virgin Mary, the greatest person who ever lived, who wasn't God, to say she's nothing, I just found that odd. Now, I'm not saying that that means Roy Sherman didn't have this conversation with her. I'm not even saying he remembers it wrong. But I just thought that was odd. I would love to chat with him about it. I actually wanted to invite him on for this video, for this episode, and just talk to him about that and what he thinks about it. Um, but I didn't manage to do that, so I'm just giving my own take without Roy Sherman. But yeah, I found that a bit weird because I felt she, in other times, as we've seen, she has very much, not bragged about who she is, but she very much did know who she is and recognized that God had chosen her and selected her for a very specific role and he kind of raised her up. So for her to say I'm nothing, I don't know, it might just be that she's really humble and that's why she said that to show her humility and how humble she is. Anyway, that's my little take. Uh, I just wanted to make that video. Maybe leave a comment to let me know what you thought about that statement from the Blessed Mother. Uh, thank you for watching. See you again soon.